if you get trauma to an artery, you can get something called an aneurysm, okay, mm -hmm. which is where uh, as it heals, it dilates and then it becomes a much bigger kind of abnormal trophy vessel essentially. Yeah. And that's, you know, when they examined you in the concussion clinic where they felt that, they felt it was what we call pulse out, that you could have a pulse out, mm -hmm. and there is. There he goes, doing what he does best, taking the bins out. Look at that. <laughs> What's up guys, Liam here, welcome back to LSJ TV. Today's video is going to be dedicated towards my concussion, or aneurysm, as it is now being referred to as by the doctor. Look at all of that. Or potential an aneurysm. Things just aren't getting any better and it's not ideal, but the biggest question I have is what actually happened? How did this even happen? We're gonna dive into that a little bit today. I'm also gonna be shaving my legs. So if you fancy a laugh, whilst actually finding out some stuff that you've probably wanted to know for the past nine months, stick around. It's gonna be a good one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's do it. Shaving. Not my face, although I am. I do need to do that as well. In fact, I should probably do that first. There's a big grin going all up my legs and then my face, isn't it? Nah. What we are going to be doing, ladies and gentlemen, is... <laughs> and the bum. Ba basically, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we're going to show them the bum. <laughs> but this is actually just going to bring out a bit more definition. So if you see my leg now, um, this is how it looks. Obviously my leg is not going to grow in the next like 10-15 minutes. I definitely should have gone for a two guard instead of a one. That's quite that's short. That's very short, <laughs> but I've got to just commit to it now. That's not that bad actually. I mean it's... <laughs> I think that's okay. See the thing is, we're, we're going a big weekend and <laughs> it, the weather forecast, touch wood, is looking alright. Ready wants a big weekend. So, I'm going to have the pegs out. I've been meaning to do this for weeks anyway, but... Maybe a one was just a tad too short, but we've committed now. Drop a like for the commitment. All right. So way back in August of 2021, a grand total of about nine months ago now, I was on a night out with my friend, my good friend from uni, Jason. You've seen Jason on the channel a few times. Uh, not for like a year now, maybe a good few months at least, um, but you've seen him on the channel. I know him from uni, so we go way back, you know, 2015. One of my oldest friends, Jason, actually. We are on a night out in the middle of Birmingham. Uh, it was a great night. We came out, we got some food, we had some garlic bread, garlic pizza bread. I think I had some chicken dippers or chicken nuggets or something like that. Mine was gone. He still had some of the garlic bread and I was nabbing some, you know. And to cut long story short, we were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And I wound up in this state nine months later. I can have a baby in the amount of time it's taken me to recover from this and I'm still not there. But to cut long story short, all I'm gonna say for now is that we were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Surrounded by the wrong people. May do with that what you will. If you get trauma to an artery, you can get something called an aneurysm. Okay, which is where uh, as it heals, it dilates and then it becomes a much bigger kind of abnormal trophy vessel essentially. So what I want to dive into a little bit now is the kind of current state. I've actually just had an appointment at the hospital who have been really, really good by the way. They've been so helpful, so friendly, so just, I know it sounds stupid because you, 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 you study for like eight years, but so knowledgeable on anything that is that I, I have to ask about the, the whole situation. Um, and I actually just been to an appointment where to be honest, I didn't get the best news and it's kind of knocked me back a bit um, mentally. But I'm just gonna roll the, the little clip here. That's, you know, when they examined you in the concussion clinic where they found that, they found it was what we call a pulse out, that you could have a pulse out, mm -hmm. and there is. 
So it is a little bit difficult to say, but where you have the swelling, there is a strong pulse, and that will raise a suspicion of whether or not there is a little bit of a energy. Actually, well, here, can we address that? So, um, so I think you need to, to rule that out because you've had a swelling there and you're getting pain from it. Because if that is there, it's probably the cause of your pain that something potentially could be done with. And what to do with would be basically uh, we'd have to access the area and just cut it out. Now, what you're hearing is someone telling me that I may potentially over the next few weeks need, well, surgery. I guess it's surgery, isn't it, right? They're just going to cut an area and like take it out. So what they're gonna do before that is actually give me an ultrasound scan. The reason being, I should not be in this physical condition nine months after what happened, right? Unless there is something a little bit more going on, like what he's talking about, an aneurysm or anything like that. Unless that is the case, I should not be feeling like this. They're gonna send me for an ultrasound because they don't wanna just cut into my forehead, which would leave a scar, which I also don't want. <laughs> They're not, they're not just going to do that without good reason to. So they're going to give me an ultrasound to see whether that is the case. Um, and we will go from there. That hit me for six. That knocked me for six. That did. Because that was the one thing this entire time I've really, really, really been worrying about, to be honest. Um, but here we are. <laughs> no wonder you're so warm all the time. I, I told you, I, I get so hot because I'm so airy. I had a high skin fade two days ago. Two days ago. Look at it. Yeah, everyone's thinking, oh, it still looks short, but it's not a high skin fade right now, is it? Two days old, this haircut. Two days old. <laughs> My hair grows so fast, it's like annoying because it legitimately costs me money. This seems to be weird if I'm actually going to listen to the pulse. <laughs> the pulse <laughs> seems to be weird if I'm actually going to listen to the pulse. Yeah, but, uh... Oh, that just feels so weird. I, I realise when I've come to appointments like this, how just how much I intentionally avoid touching it. Mm. If there is an aneurysm there, it's potential, it's not definite. You could have this and still have symptoms of pain and, and you know, you <coughs> unfortunately when you have a bad outcome, you know, concussion and a bad injury, you get some nasty symptoms with it. Yeah. Um, so it's not definite, but given that you've got focal tenderness there, there is a swelling there, there's a problem with the pulse, it's something that we need to rule out. If there is a suggestion on the scan, and the reason we're getting the scan is that there's no point, the, the way to treat this would be to make a cut in the area and get mm -hmm. We'd be committing you to, because of where it is, the, the way to access that, just we probably have to make an access in probably in your hairline or just over it. And that means you'd have a scar in the area. Okay? And what we don't want to do is make a cut into an area and go, well, it looks pretty normal and it's, it's just that the area the tissue is still swollen and it's still remodeling. It's a bit long for that, but it's possible. So we have to make sure that there's a reasonable reason to go into the area and explore it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, and I think if there was an aneurysm, I, I think we should do that because of how focal your symptoms are and, and, and so on and it might, might sort things out. Okay? We need to make sure there's good enough reason. There is a nerve to your face close to this blood vessel that moves your eyes out. So yeah, I, I, I used to actually be really good at raising that eyebrow, <laughs> really? or not. I know it sounds daft, but you know when people mm. raise their eyebrows. Really so do you think it's weaker? I, I can't do it. Do it for I, me now? I, I, I can't. So close your eyes really tight and then open them? And then try and raise both of them, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, it's intact, maybe yeah, not so I, used well. to, I used to individually really yeah. do it, and I, mm -hmm. I, I can't. And so, that sounds ridiculous. That, no, it's not, because the nerve is there, and it's, if, yeah. it was, if it was a big swelling there, it's not unsurprising that it was so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the issue is, you know, as I said, we, what we don't want to do is that if there isn't something there, you go in and yeah. look at it, and then you damage that nerve completely, and you can't raise your eyebrows, full stop. So there's pros and cons to doing things, and although I'm sure you're in a bad way because you want it sorted, we have to make sure it's the right thing. So do we need surgery? I don't know. I bloody hope not. That's what I'm going to title the video anyway. I guess we'll find out over the next few weeks. So if you are excited for that, stick around. Never mind training, goals, hitting 100 kg, OHPs, all that kind of cool stuff. Big weekend coming up. Never mind all that if you want to see. If we need a 
bit of a snip out of my friggin' head, then stay tuned, I suppose. You've seen this on the internet. Well, you probably have, actually, you dirty <laughs> <laughs> Joking. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I would call a wig. Look at all of that. That was on just my legs. And my ass, but you know, you get the gist. So, quick 10 minute transformation. That's your lot, people. That is the difference. Size of the calves. Bam. That's how we are looking. And this. This. Oh, why would you sniff it? Funny, isn't it? <laughs> so the next video that you guys see will be a Q and A. I have not done one of these, I'm going to say for a good six months. I used to do one every single month. I've not done one for probably since my concussion, to be honest. So probably about nine months since my last Q&A. So if you have any questions, sit them in the comment section of this video. I'll do an Instagram story by the time that you guys see this video as well. So stick any questions that you have in there and I'll be sure to get to as many of them as possible. I'm sure you have plenty of questions about this situation. Maybe a question or two about Ella. And that's that. So if you have enjoyed this one, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.